Hey, so it's Monday. We're at the Macquarie University incubator and we just got some new boards come in that we've designed. But before we go into those, maybe we'll just take a look at the current board that we've uh, put together called the Rapid Analysis Darius. And this one's already been launched and uh, we've got a few hundred of these. There's really uh, not much different or special about this board other than it's got a integrated uh, cooling system. That fan there takes heat away from the, the processor, which is a, uh, it's a Celeron 2840, which you could see right there. And the reason why we produced this was we wanted to have a uh, low wattage single board computer that also was able to take quite a bit of RAM. This RAM slot on the bottom can accommodate eight gigabytes and there's two MSATA ports on here. Each one of those could take a couple of terabytes. So uh, what we wanted to do was produce um, a computer that can handle pretty large models, AI models, um, and not take up a lot of wattage. Now these computers have been used in um, my consulting line of work for one-off projects, but they're also available for purchase for other people who want to create bespoke projects or uh, home lab enthusiasts as well, who want to run maybe a computer system in their home lab that doesn't take up a lot of power, but can take quite a bit of RAM and a lot of space as well. And it's got, this is the real time clock on here. Now we're gonna be, uh, we've got several hundred of these in stock already, but we're gonna retire it soon in favor of this new board. And a lot of people were wanting uh, dual ethernet. So on the new board, we put dual ethernet. And we also um, took off the uh, fan and you can now cool it however you want to. Now, the other fan didn't make a lot of noise, but we wanted to make an option that was even less wattage. Uh, so this this really, really sips power. Um, and it also has uh, both an M SATA and M.2 slot that you can see. I'll see if I could zoom in there. Um, so you've got the M slot M.2 here and the M SATA there. It also still has uh, the VGA port there and it's got serial right there. Along with all the other uh, USB 3, USB 2 and HDMI ports as well. Now, um, in addition to this new board that uh, we haven't named yet, um, we also have this blade design. And what we'd like to do with this is basically have it be a fraction of the size of this is this is this size format is called uh, nano and so for this what we'd like to do is create a fractional nano uh, we don't have a name for this board yet but we might call it like uh, nano dot nano dot two or fractional nano or something but this takes a cm4 cm5 raspberry pi board um, and this initial version, <laughs> we made the mistake of, of putting the SD card backwards. So this is not going to be what's out in production, but um, we're also going to be putting M.2 on the back, which this doesn't have yet, and a CSI connector on the edge. So this is just uh, a prototype board. It's not yet ready for production, um, but uh, this is kind of on the horizon, coming out very shortly and it's going to be both inserted in a 1U slot like this, um, and it's also gonna be able to go inside of a, um, a nano enclosure, perhaps three at a time like this. Uh, so that's what we have planned coming up. Let us know what you think.